attack anti-Bush advertisement. Mr. President, you did not listen. You continue to pursue a failed strategy that is breaking our great Army and Marine Corps. I left the Army in protest in order to speak out. Mr. President, you have placed our nation in peril. Our only hope is that Congress will act now to protect our fighting men and women. Now, that ad was paid for by VoteVets.org, which says it's nonpartisan, but a study of its PAC shows 93% of VoteVets donations go to Democrats. With us now, Fox News military analyst General Wesley Clark, who is on the board of advisors of VoteVets.org. You know, I understand the dissent, and uh, the general, certainly a patriot, has a right to say whatever he wants. I wouldn't have done it. You got guys over there in bad situations right now. Uh, Congress is debating what to do about this situation. I wouldn't have piled on like the general did. Am I wrong? Bill, I think you're wrong. I, I think you would have piled up? Absolutely. Yeah, Look, this policy up. has been a mistake. We should never have invaded Iraq. But the American people supported it. And guys like John Batiste, who did a great job in the United States Army, he was a fine division commander. He was there on the ground. He saw it. He tried to make it work. And then he realized in perspective that the problem is not the troops. The problem is the policy and the strategy. All right, but the problem is the troops now. Put yourself in the company commander's shoes. Because they watch Fox News, they're watching us right now. And you see this, and your guys, you're trying to keep your guys' morale up, and you're trying to get your guys to perform in very, very difficult circumstances, and this stuff comes on. I don't think this is right. I, I really feel it's wrong. You gotta look out for the guys first. I don't think Batiste is looking out for the guys. I think he's looking out for politics. Well, I don't think so. I think the most important thing John Batiste can do to look out for the troops is to try to get them a strategy and policies that work and make their sacrifice but that's already meaningful. in play. If it wasn't in play, in play, sure it is. Congress is debating it right now. Play. What do you think they're doing? I think there's a big debate going on, and I think John Batiste's voice is very welcome in that debate. He's been there. He's seen it. And uh, right. he's a very It's a legitimate force. point. I'm not going to condemn the general. He's, he's a patriot and braver than I am, but I would not have done it. Makes me queasy. That's his sense of responsibility. Okay. Uh, you. I got a bone to pick with you. you. You do. You, I bet. George Soros donated $75,000 to your Westpac. You brought this up the last time. And we didn't have time to get into it. Do you know how radical left this guy is? Do you have any clue about how radical left he is? Listen, George Soros is, he's, he's an embodiment in many respects, Bill, of the American dream that every person aspires to. He came to this country. He's done a lot of good. Do you know what George Soros' foundations have done in Eastern Europe? Do you realize he how, does some humanitarian how work. much great, no, not humanitarian yeah. work, democratizing work. Well, okay. He put you, he's a convicted felon. He's a convicted felon in France. In. He's a convicted felon in France. He ruined the British pound by selling it short. He's, and let me ask you this. Do you stand for euthanasia? Are you a, a euthanasia guy? you believe in that? Because someone gives you money on a common cause doesn't mean you endorse K. all their political 75K. views. 75K. But here's what I do stand for. You don't, I, euthanasia, no, you don't believe in that, do you? No, I've never okay. endorsed Legalize euthanasia. Okay, legalized narcotics? But here's, here's Legalize the narcotics? But here's the point. You're not going to answer me? I don't think that's the relevant question. Sure it is. No, it isn't. This guy no, gave you, you, you $75,000. And if a Republican had given me $75,000, I would have taken You're it also. Okay. And I wouldn't have David Duke the gives you money? View. You're going to take his money? I wouldn't have taken David Duke's view. All right. Are, is David Duke a good Republican? I'm not sure. Well, you wouldn't have taken David Duke's money, but George Soros says we need denazification in this country and compares the Bush administration to the Nazis, and you're taking 75K from him. I can't uh, defend I everything George Soros You can't says, defend anything let he me does. Oh, yes, I can. No, you can't. I've seen the work he's done. He's made a huge impact in the world. He's trained thousands and thousands of democracy workers. He's put his personal reputation and his personal wealth behind it. He's made a difference. Are in you an open fall. border guy? You, you want the open border? You I'm want everybody in coming in I'm in favor of democracy in Eastern Europe, and George Soros Eastern has Europe. put his money into it. I'll tell you what. Not only there, but he's supported other groups that have helped around the world bringing American values I'm gonna have my in guys. a realistic way. I'm going to have my guys, FedEx, because I know you're traveling abroad, FedEx you a package of who this guy really is. I don't care you know, what he's that, done in Bulgaria. Listen, it doesn't listen matter. To me. That's character assassination. You bet I'm it is. not interested in character you, no, assassination. It's fact. I'm interested it's in advancing it's not American values. You're oh, going after American guys. values? You're Euthanasia? After, legalized narcotics? Open freedom, borders? Democracy? Freedom That's of the bull. press? Open That's free bull. speech? This guy he's is in favor of all of that. This guy is undermining the country there. abroad, wants a one world government. I mean, this is as radical as it goes. There isn't, more, there isn't I, a more I, radical person in the country George than Soros. him. 
You took you took 75k from the most radical individual in the United States of America. You're just going after somebody. You bet. And it's personal and it's not wrong. personal. You ought to look at his results. Results for what? I don't have to defend his views. I can look at the record of what he's accomplished no, in General, Eastern Europe. You are a patriot. It's who you associate with that people are going to judge you by. Well, I'm associating with you. Well, that's because you're getting paid to do it. I'd he gave you me. money. Bill, I'd be here with you. Even oh, if you General, don't try to charm me. me. You're wrong I, on this guy. I would guy. be. This and guy's no, dangerous. I think you're wrong He's on dangerous. Him. He's not. He's a legitimate voice yeah. in the United States of America. MoveOn.org, you like them? You think they're good? I think they've had a legitimate role to play. You do? They've you like that character voice. assassination? You like them going in and, and cutting everybody you up? Like you like the swift good? boats? Stop swift boats. Don't divert the no, thing. No, no, that's the question. I, I, listen, I was, one of the big, no. kind of I was one of the big critics of the swift boats. I was one of the big critics. Well, I'm no hypocrite here, but I, you're, I you're think, on the wrong I side think, of the street I here, think, General. Bill, you've you're on the wrong side of the street. I think you've said a lot of things that are very, very personal. You ought to be looking at the issues. We you back up every one of them. Let me tell you something. You ought to be worried about where this country's headed. I am. I'm worried about George Soros giving guys like you 75,000. I'm worried about soldiers and their families over there who haven't had a decent leadership and decent policy. I'm worried about the White House in four years. I'll agree with you on that. And George Soros I'm worried about and people him too. like him are putting the money in it to try to change that policy. All right. Always spirited, General. Thank you for coming Good in. To be with you. All right. Directly ahead. Violence in France is growing as radicals and Islamists take to the streets there. And later, Kirk Cameron, the growing pains guy, is defending.